if you've watched Japanese TV within the last decade, you probably know who this guy is. But did you know there's more to him than a speedo and a few cheesy one-liners? Kojima Yoshio has been performing his rather eccentric comedy for over 10 years now. Today, let's take a look at how he came to be. Yoshio was born in Okinawa, but grew up in Chiba. His father is a politician from Hokkaido, and his mother owns a restaurant in Okinawa. He was one of those kids who loved being the center of attention. He loved making his classmates laugh by telling goofy jokes and singing silly songs. He was known as the class clown, but he was no slouch in academics. In fact, his childhood dream was to become a school teacher. He was accepted to the prestigious Waseda University to study education and Japanese literature. However, it's there he began to make the switch from education to entertainment. He joined his university's comedy group, Wage, and quickly fell in love with performing. Near the end of university, he was torn between pursuing a career in teaching and making the leap to showbiz. He tried to pursue both. While attending university, he auditioned for TV shows and was working on getting his teacher's license. But when he graduated in 2006, he had failed both his teacher's examination and TV auditions and his comedy group decided to split up, since everyone seemed to have different goals. Yoshio was at an utter loss at what to do with his life. He recalls receiving a lot of advice during this time from friends and family, the most impactful advice being possibly the simplest. Just keep at it. The other bit of advice he got was to do something that showed off his body. And perhaps thanks to that, in under a year, he cut a break. Thanks to 99's and Cream Stew's program, 2007 really became his year. When he wasn't jumping around in a speedo, he appeared on several quiz shows, most notably Hexagon, where, at the show's end, he was ranked as one of the smartest contestants in the show's history. But several years later, his popularity waned, and he kind of dropped off the radar. There were even rumors that he had died. But what had really happened is that he wanted to take his comedy in a new direction. He wanted to do something for kids. And in 2014, he got the chance to work with Disney Channel Japan to make his own promotional character. He began writing funny songs for kids that promoted eating healthy and exercising. He also started touring elementary schools performing, which was a huge hit with the kids. He still appears on TV, but I think he feels happier entertaining kids. Other info. Kojima got married in 2016. Uh, <laughs> Kojima has studied abroad, magical and after graduating, he had an English-speaking roommate. Uh -huh. So he can speak English pretty well. All men crazy people. Especially when compared to other comedians. <laughs> All men crazy people. 